scores a goal. Can you believe it? It's extraordinary. Uh, Josh Jenkins, two weeks in the SANFL. Uh, this is getting really interesting now because Himmelberg's come along and playing some decent footy and, and the Crows are winning. So uh, the punters are, are not necessarily aligned for Josh. They only played well on the weekend, but he made these comments last week and then again today about the state of play with his spot in the side. We had a robust discussion, and um, that's true. You know, I was pretty, pretty strong in my thoughts and what I thought I could offer the team. But you know, I was, I was pretty dirty for a while. But I had to take my medicine. I was dirty because I, I wanted to be in the side, and I was, mm. I was flat and upset that I wasn't. I'd, so I, I was, I was dirty about it from, from my own perspective. I wasn't dirty at, at anyone else for dropping me. I certainly understood why. How has this happened, Matthew? He was third in the BNF last year, leading goal kicker. Um, and then put into the leadership group at the start of this season. Now he's out of the team and other players sort of taking mm. his spot and Tex Walker looks a lot better player without Josh there. Uh, he's been disappointing, but he would have loved to have played against the Gold Coast Suns and the Saints. They were two golden opportunities yeah. to play a decent player in the form. And I'm putting my list management hat on. I'd be getting to Jenkins and his manager right now and saying, hey, we value you as a footballer. We believe you could be brilliant for us. And these are the clubs that I feel should be doing that right now for Josh Jenkins because I think he'd be suitable at Melbourne. He'd be great for North Melbourne as a support for uh, Ben Brown. Bulldogs, well, they lack any key target or they don't have faith in them. Jared Ruffhead, probably on his last year at Hawthorne, would, he'd, go, he'd go really well there, I think, with the, the ball movement and then the Brisbane Lions with Hipwood. So they I came before it, Brisbane. They did, yeah. They had a five-year offer for him. So I think now is the time. I remember when Billings was out of contract, yeah. la- or not getting a game last year. I'm sure clubs tried. Well, I'd be trying with Jenkins at the moment. Yeah. Slightly different age bracket yeah. to Billings. And, and money you've got to take. Money as well. But he might be willing to take a pay cut, Josh Jenkins, to play at Hawthorne next year. You never know. It's fascinating. Uh, but uh, the Crows back into a little bit of form and on the back of a yeah. couple of of uh, easier wins.